When I was 12 years old, I would spend my summer days hanging out with my friends. We all lived in the same neighborhood, so we would walk to each other's houses and hang around together all the time. Which meant if we had a sleepover, our parents didn't drive us, since it would be a waste of a drive. But there was something different about my house. My house was up a hill that was in our neighborhood, and one of my friends lived on the complete other side of the neighborhood. One day, we planned a sleepover at her house. It took me around 12 minutes to walk there, and we usually would head over around 7 p.m. By that time, it was dark, but I didn't care because my neighborhood was extremely safe and secure, so I wasn't scared of anything happening to me. When I arrived, we started playing games and all that. I went to the bathroom and realized I forgot pads. I was on my period and I wasn't risking it, but my parents were already asleep and I was scared they would get pissed I was calling them at 9 p.m. to ask them to grab me pads. I told my friends I would be back and my one friend said she would come with me. My parents never locked the door, so we got in easily. We grabbed the pads and some more snacks and then we left. On our way back to her house, we noticed someone walking behind us, which was normal because people took walks around here all the time. We weren't scared, plus we had each other. All of a sudden, the person started mumbling and rolling on the floor, yelling and kicking. My friend and I felt concerned, so she asked the man, Sir, are you okay? He stood up and started laughing. I realized he had a reddish substance all over him. We thought maybe he was on drugs, so we went to the other side of the street. He followed us, so we went back to the side we were on first. Then he did the same. We both realized at that point he was definitely following us. Both of us started running really fast, but the man did too. I looked back and he was screaming and laughing, staring right at us with his beady black eyes. We had to find a place to hide, so we ran through some backyards and eventually hid in one of those mini wooden play areas that kids have. I covered my friend's mouth since she was panting and crying like crazy. The man walked right past, and I heard him say, Come on, don't stop now. I thought we were having fun. Suddenly, my friend let out a squeal. He saw where we were hiding and started to climb up. Thinking quickly, I grabbed a stick that was up there and stabbed it right in his eye. He screamed so loud. Then I pulled my friend up by the arm and we ran as fast as we could. When we arrived at her house, we told our friends everything that happened. We didn't tell our parents because they didn't even know we'd left the house so late. The next morning, we woke up and noticed her dad was watching the news. We found out that there was a man who was stabbed in the eye last night in someone's backyard. It turned out that they were glad he was found. He was guilty of kidnapping two girls, one boy, and of killing one teenage girl. I am 16 now, and my friends and I still wonder what could have happened to us if I hadn't stabbed him.